And we're back for another episode of the saga of Red McNed. I'm your host, Red McNed, a.k.a. No, I don't think I have any other AKs, so we'll just stick with that. And this is like day one. No, this is this is part two, essentially, of the last episode. So all these paths, these lovely paths, I'd like to show them all now. If you go this way, it leads to the castle. If you go this way, it leads to the clock tower. And there's this whole journey in between. And even if it doesn't get all filled up today, I'm going to put a couple key things in there. I'm going to make a giant rat map room. Like there's the map room. It might be the big map room, but this is going to be a giant map room. It's going to be in here. There's going to be a really kind of big cave area with uh, branching bridges and pathing paths. And there's also going to be my attempt at building Cerebro. If you don't know what that is, it's that big round room in the X-Men universe, Universal. And it's the room where Charles Xavier, <laughs> he goes in there and is like, I'm a fine people. But we're going to use it for a different reason here. I have not entirely justified it yet, but it's going to be the reason why all the maps exist. It's going to be like a room for locating, instead of locating people, it's going to locate locations. So we're working with that. So this is going to be a big hollowed out sphere. Just tons of hollow is going to happen in here. And... In the middle, to help us out, we have our friend Mr. Beacon, or Mrs. Beacon, or non-gender specific Beacon. And it's gonna... it's doing the double haste, so we can do that too. And I'm going to figure out how I want to do this. One thing that's going to be immensely helpful is the Plots website that I keep talking about. It's P-L-O-T-Z... And it's not something, I don't know, but if you type that into Google, you'll like get it's the first thing that pops up. So there are plots up, I should say. <laughs> but it has a, sp a sphere template in there. And that's the reason why we're here at uh, a Y level of 31 and not lower, is because it's going to be hopefully huge. Like, hopefully, when you step into it, you're going to be like, where am I? The, what? Like, I really hope that that is the best reaction I can get is uh, dumbfounded bewonderment like even the person trying to describe what the statement what the emotion will be will not have a know-how of the uh, e e no e notation of the emotion so yeah that's there the uh, big caverns gonna be there leading to the castle and then there's gonna be a big math room here so a few quick and dirty details to get out of the way this is gonna be basically a 51 block diameter sphere and it's going to be sort of the opposite of a sphere in that like that is going to be the area that doesn't have any blocks so i've i've done half of it here what i did is i paced out every five blocks i put a little line there and this is where one side will be and it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. This is in the middle. I chose 51 blocks as the diameter because an odd number will make it so that this hallway can be in the middle. And since this is three wide, I didn't want to have an even number because it would have been too wide and it would have just been bad. It would have, would have been a whole mess of issues. So I did that that way, I did this that way. So uh, that last line here should be the first line there, which is actually going to be a wall. I did half the room already, just the uh, the widest part of the circle. It's going to be the part that has, that has the entryway here. And it's three tall. So what I did is I marked the center with... You know, a wood, a wood half slab and a 
little little square of quartz around it. Quartz is actually going to be the block that I use to uh, sort of give this a coat of painting after it's done. Like this, this first part will be just digging out the area. And I guess if I was really efficient, I would also be replacing the outside blocks with the quartz, which I don't have on me. But one of the best ways to start, though, is to find your center points, your lines that are in the middle, in other words. And this is the center for just, uh, it'll make it into halves and quarters and make things a lot easier. From here, I measured out the sides for how much to take away. And so this is, from here, I'll just give you the numbers. Counting the middle, this is six blocks here. The next row is three, then two, two, and two. We got ourselves a one and a one and then a two. And then it reverses here. Or not, yeah, yeah, it reverses. Mirror images, whatever. Goes to two, then one, one, two, 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 three, and then six, and you're back at the center point. You could also just do start from each, like count out from the middle. Like since this is 51, I'll take away one because it's the middle. And it'll be uh, half of 50, which is 25. So if I count from here to 25, it should get all the way to the wall. And I can start doing it in this direction and see when it meets up with the other side if I started from there also. So if I was really unsure if I was doing these measurements right, if I ever got confused, I could start on this side and try to meet up in the middle. And it should end up with the uh, same the same thing going on and that thus completes it you can double check triple check and recheck your work any sort of double triple time you want and that's because there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with getting the dimensions right for something uh, also something to note if you're using a beacon gotta have that unbreaking three but even that is not gonna save your pick because this was almost completely full before I started this, all this stuff down here so sometimes it helps to have an anvil and uh, some diamond to help you out and levels but I'm gonna do a little bit more with this and uh, get back to you it's taken some time to really figure out how I'm going to uh, demonstrate this next part because it could either be really straightforward or really confusing and it's all kind of depends on me like if I am able to say what I'm doing in a way that is uh, easy to follow or huh inducing so <laughs> hopefully it's not that um, this is the center uh, this is the main height the highest points in the sphere and from here this block at head level is the middle so just like how I said the the whole thing is 51 across meaning if you take out the one in the middle from here to the other side is 25 from here to the other side is 25 from this torch up to the ceiling but not including the ceiling is 25 and from this slab, marked by the height of the torches, to not the floor, but the block right above the floor, is 25. I have this weird spiral here just to make it easy to go up and down. Because you need to be able to go up and down easily. This whole thing, from this block here to this block here, is 11 blocks. And this middle is 5. And it just goes in one 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 and then it connects with this which is also uh, five blocks here so from here there's two choices I can either start here on this level and work my way down or start at the top and work my way down it's really tough to work your way up because you sort of take away the floor that you need but in case this is confusing as to the distance uh, going on 
one of the things that could help clarify it is um, just going down from here because this level is supposed to be three high and the next the next level happens at the one I'm standing on so if I show if I show <laughs> what goes down from here then theoretically it should meet up with that down there and everything's hunky-dory or whatever saying you want to use also if I go up there and work my way down it's a little less forgiving if I get that calculation wrong so maybe I'll do this one first of course at this time it would be nice to note that if I could fly it would make this easier because I could do this level and at this level at the same time in fact so if I was in creative mode I would probably have the ideal conditions to build anything pretty much but for this in particular it would make it so I could do each layer the same because well from each distance it goes from the middle it's going to be the same if it's a uh, sphere so the only thing that changed you notice it looks pretty much the same is just this little bit and like this is the original three here so on the roof it went up one except for this and it's right in the middle and this so basically that makes it a uh, a solid diagonal line here like there was there was this notch up in here and then that happened other than that though it's exactly the same I think for the rest of this I'm just gonna do a quarter of the circle at a time uh, so I'm just gonna focus on this one because really it's the same no matter what uh, quadrant you're in like if if this in the middle had this here <laughs> then it would be the same for every quarter of it anyways the next part is just this little notch here everything else the pattern comes down except for this and it's also over here where that torch is the next layer the change is uh, one in on here one here and you're gonna skip two and have one here this next row will be the middle here plus these two and these four these three two two and then the next the rest is normal same on the other side one in the middle two four three two 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 and one and after that's all cleared out you can stretch because I haven't forgotten to do that and this does take a while Whew. I'm just marking the, the progress on these uh, I went ahead and started taking out the uh, the middle here just because I think it's gonna start getting confusing if I don't but this next row this uh, this is done so this become this is seven here counting the middle then three two two one and one and two and then they're right at the middle again once you do the mirror image and once you clear it out it should look like this and the resources have been tumbling in seriously though if you don't have good picks or anything this will this will eat through your tools really fast the next layer, counting the middle, is five blocks long here, four here, two, then two, then two, and then it meets up. Mirror image on the other side. Then from here, it'll just be ones. So this is the straight diagonal. And the next row is four, then four, three, two, one, one, two, and then this one should be right in the middle. This level, we don't do anything with this. Uh, this is seven. And then three, two, two, and then ones all the way into the middle. This next stroke has five here. Then four, two, two, one, and two, and one. And then you should be in the middle. And if you notice that this is repetitive, it's because we're making a giant sphere. And I frankly don't know what other way to do this than to just keep listing them off like this. 
Also, I'm having to skip around a lot because if I actually showed myself loading this, we'd be here all day, and I'm not even exaggerating. Next, we're leaving this and we're bringing it in a level. This is uh, seven long here, kind of in the middle. Three, two, one, two, one, and one more for the middle. Next is five, four, two, one, two, one, and one in the middle, or approaching the middle. Yeah, it's like to the side. Next row, we're bringing it in one, and this is going to be seven, three, one, two, one, one, and one. And that should be meeting up in the middle. Next is four, four, two, two, one, two, and one at the middle. In the next row, you come in one block, and this is six, two, three, one, one, two, middle. Next, it's six, three, two, one, one, and two. And actually, this would look like this once it's uh, done being continued over there, just in case that's not clear. The next level comes in one and is seven and two and two, one, one, and one, and the blah, 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 blah. The next row is two, five, two, two, one, and one. And it's starting to get more difficult to see the middle. The next level is in two blocks and is six long, then two, two, one, one, and one, right in the middle. The next level is in one, six, two, two, one, one, Bob Kanoosh. If you're underground running around with the moles digging holes, just like I am, uh, watch out for these. Ooh, ooh. Next level is in one, four, three, two, one, and one in the center. Nearly there, I hope. So the next level is in two. It's five, two, two, and one in the center. Next level is in two, and five, and then two, one, and this will be the, uh, the center. So just to uh, help out in case there's any uh, confusion, I'll just do some of this on camera. This is the last level, finally, before it meets up, which is a little concerning because I think I may have actually overestimated here. But anyway, this is in two, and include four, then one, then two, and this sort of swings around and joins up like this with four, one, and two there. I may or may not have did my maths wrong because this was supposed to be down one level. I guess worst case I could just fill this in one and it'll meet up with it so it's no big deal but it's kind of crucial to get that number right for the top half. Yeah I think it's right so I probably I probably made this too deep so I, I filled that in just brought the height up one like underneath is what was there before so that being said Hmm. You know what? This says that the ceiling is actually correct as far as the height. It says I only messed up on the floor. This is concerning. Uh, I thought the floor was correct until I found out I messed up. Because I'm a masochist, apparently, I'll show this again. If you really want, you could just turn your monitor over and just pretend that I'm upside down. And it'll be the exact same instructions but upside down and in reverse. I feel like I sh I do have to show it building from the top down because that's probably the most likely way it will be built. And I do want to give information on how to build this. So here goes. So it's going in three and from the center, including the center, it's going out f uh, four, then one, then two. Which is a mirror image of this, that from the center, it's going four, 
then one, then two. The next level goes back two spaces. It's five, then two, then one, and one, and one. It sort of meets up with this, because this is going five, then two, then one, one, just however many ones. And this should be the next levels in two. It's five, and two, two, and one. This should meet up with this five, two, two, and one. Next level's two in. From the center, it's four, then three, two, one, and one. This is in the middle. I'm going to start marking these with the uh, torches. Just so I don't have to do the, uh, the other side. This next level goes in one, and it's six, two, two, one, and then one. And next level's in one, uh, six. That's six, by the way. In case I mispronounced that just now. Two, two, and then one's forever, and yeah. The next row's two in, and two in the f five, two, two, one, and one, and this should be. This next level doesn't go back at all, just goes straight down. As you can see, I made a boo boo, but anyways, this is seven, then two, two, one, 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 and there's the spot that hits the spot. Next row is one in, six and three, two, one, one, and two. Joins up the other two right there. Next row is in one, six, two, three, one, one, two, and there's like a one right here. Next level is in one, uh, four, four, two, two, one, two, and one at the halfway point. Next one's on the same level, so don't go in at all. And instead of four, it's going to be seven. And then three, one, two, one, one, and one, 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 one. Just ones. As a caution, though, you don't dig out necessarily the number of blocks that I listed. Because, like, I said seven here, but I only had to get rid of these three here to make it seven. So this is just what... This is what I'm listing off is what it should look like. Ideally, once you're done removing blocks. Next level's in one, and five, four, two, one, two, one, one, and then there's a uh, one in the middle. In case I forgot, just because this is starting to get repetitive, this level after this didn't go uh, back any further, and it's seven. Three, two, one, two, one, and one. And this level goes in one, and is five, four, two, two, one, two, one, and one. And here's a progress report. It's it's getting there. Next one's on the same plan. It just goes uh, seven. So just that notch there, basically. Uh, three, two, two, one, and one, and one, and one. The next one's in one. Four, and then four, three, two, one, one, two, one. And next level is the same as all the levels. The next level is straight down. It's five, and it's four. Two, 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 and then ones. Next one's still the same, but it's got seven. Oh my goodness. Three, two, two, one, one, two, and then one in the middle. Good news, everyone. We're running out of places to stand. Yay! It's just going to be a little bit more compact. So, uh, the only thing that changes with this one is that there's three, and you go all, it should be, when it gets to three here, it should be two, 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 and then ones. Next is going to be on this row, and it should be four, four, three, two, 
and the rest is the same. And the last bits are just knocking off uh, this corner here, uh, the very next corner, uh, skipping two corners, and knocking there on that door. I realized that I took out that one layer on the bottom from before. So this actually ended up perfect. No mistakes. No mistakes were made, so... Oh, okay. That's good. That's real good. <laughs> I'm gonna take this floor out now. Just bleh. Alright, so after all of this, we are now two eighths of the way done. And. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to do this all in one go. If you are trying to do this all in one go, don't do it. It's not good for you. I took a little bit of psych psychological damage doing this one. <laughs> but at least it's all in good fun, right? We're all having good and fun. Good fun. But this gives a pretty good idea of how big it is on that side and on this side. You can see we are not uh, messing around with this one. So what I'm going to do is take a, take a break, take a breather, call this episode good. Because I don't even know how long it's going to be. I might, it might be edited to look like this didn't take a long time. But I'm going to let you in on a little. It did take a long time. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully, even even if that is the case, though, even if it takes me a long time, I'd rather not make it seem like it did, you know, for the sake of, I don't know. You know, for the sake of, I don't know. So this is going to have to be a two-parter, I can tell. So what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to have all of this hollowed out. So I'll do all that. I showed how I do it at least. I'm happy that I at least toughed through that. Um, but the rest of it's just the grunt work, the literal grunt work of uh, getting this done. And I'll hopefully get a fresh paint on this and we can actually see it in all of its uh, majestic glory. And who knows, maybe we'll get to actually tackle the other projects that are on the list. So. That, uh, either way, I'm sure it'll be fun. So, as usual, in the meantime, this has been the saga. You're listening to Red McNed. I'm going to take a nap that's going to take like eight hours, and it's going to start probably at midnight. <laughs> but, like I said, I wouldn't do this if I didn't like it. So until next time, take care and see ya.